Welcome to the Deep Dive by Outlier, where we uncover the market's hidden trends and give you the edge you need. Head on over to OVTLYR.com right now to save time, make money, and start winning with less risk today. Now let's jump right in. All right, let's dive into another Deep Dive. Today, we're taking a close look at South Korea's economy. Sounds interesting. We'll be referencing a CNBC article titled, South Korea's Inflation Climbs in November, but misses expectations. I saw that one. You might be wondering, how does this affect me? Well, stick with us because it's more relevant than you might think. Yeah, the global economy is more interconnected than ever these days. Exactly. And we've got this puzzle in South Korea with some pretty curious pieces. Inflation's not quite acting the way everyone expected. There are surprise rate cuts. The currency's a bit shaky. And they barely dodged a recession. Definitely a lot to unpack. Let's break it down and see why it matters, even if you don't deal with Korean one every day. It's a situation with global implications, that's for sure. For sure. So let's start with that inflation news. South Korea's inflation rose to 1.5% in November. Yeah, which is up from a 45-month low just the month before October, I think. Right, so kind of a mixed signal. It went up, but it didn't quite meet what economists were predicting. And that miss, that's actually key. It suggests some of the forces that usually drive inflation, they might be weaker than people thought. Weaker how? Like consumer demand and global supply chain issues. Exactly. Things like that. All a part of the equation. Okay. That makes sense. And then there's the Bank of Korea. They did something unexpected slashing interest rates by 0.25% to 3%, mm -hmm. which, you know, isn't unheard of. Mm -hmm. But this is the first time they've done back-to-back -back cuts since the 2009 financial crisis. Oh. That's a big deal, right? Oh, absolutely. This is them sending a clear signal that they're really worried about the economy slowing down. Worried enough to risk making inflation worse. They are. They're willing to take that risk to try and stimulate some growth. It's a tough spot. Classic central bank dilemma, balancing growth and inflation. So they're trying to give the economy a boost, but cutting rates, doesn't that also make things more expensive for businesses and people in the long run? Precisely. They're taking a calculated risk, hoping that getting things moving now will outweigh those potential negative impacts of inflation down the line. Hmm, a gamble. And all of this while South Korea just barely avoided a recession in Q3 of 2024. All right. Their GDP only grew by a tiny 0.1% after shrinking by 0.2% the previous quarter. Yeah, they were right on the edge. Really close to a technical recession. Two quarters in a row of shrinking GDP. That's the definition, right? What else? I'd say the other big lesson is adaptability. Okay. The global economy is always changing. It's dynamic. And those who can adapt, you know, adjust quickly to new conditions, they're the ones who are going to thrive. Right. It means being open to new technologies, finding new ways of doing business, and most importantly, being willing to change your strategy when things shift. So it's not just about planning for what you think is going to happen. Right. It's about being prepared to react to the unexpected. Exactly. And this brings us back to that individual level. What can we do as individuals to navigate this complex, constantly changing world? It can feel overwhelming. <laughs> I know. But I th it starts with staying informed. We can't make good decisions if we don't know what's going on. Right. Read, listen, talk to people, get informed. Exactly. And don't just accept everything you hear at face value. Yeah. You know, think critically. Ask questions. Yeah. Seek out different perspectives. The more you understand, the better equipped you are to make choices that, you know, align with your values and help create a better world. So it's not just about understanding the economy. It's about understanding our role in it. Exactly. And making choices, both big and small, that reflect what we believe in. I like that. Whether it's supporting businesses that are doing things the right way, advocating for policies that promote fairness, or just having those informed conversations with the people in our lives, it all makes a difference. It all adds up. Yeah. We're all interconnected, right? Yeah. And we all play a part in shaping the future. Well said. And that's what I think makes these deep dives so interesting. It's not just about learning facts and figures. Right. It's about connecting those dots and seeing how right. everything fits together. It's a bigger picture. And I think this deep dive into South Korea's economy has really shown us just how complex and interconnected our global system truly is. I hope so. I hope our listeners got something out of it. Yeah. And if you did, if you have any questions or insights, we'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. And if you're interested in exploring this topic further, be sure to check out the show notes. We've got some great resources there. Yeah, definitely check those out. There's always more to learn, more to understand. So keep exploring, keep asking questions, keep diving deep. Until next time, keep learning. 
Hey, thanks so much for deep diving with us today. Head on over to outlier.com. That's O-V-D-L-Y-R.com to save time, make money, and start winning with less risk today. And we'll see you next time.